to national capitalism fact reeling under. After a month of struggling with toxic air, now Delhi's primary water source is also turning toxic as well. Reports and visuals of toxic froth have flooded the internet and are causing quite a stir. But where exactly is this taking place? Right there on your screens, viewers, are visuals of River Yamuna, which flows through the national capital and is one of the crucial water sources for people living in the area. Where opposition parties are having a field day at the cost of the government, the Delhi Jal Shakti Minister Somnath Bharti has asserted that the froth is absolutely harmless. Who do these politicians think they are fooling out here? Because the visuals are right there on your screens, viewers. First, they had bickered over Delhi's air. Now, they bicker over the quality of water. Are the people of Delhi the sole losers in this entire situation? The air is spoilt. You can smell it. You can see it every day. The smog that envelops the national capital. And now, even the water is going bad. Meanwhile, joining us on the broadcast is my colleague Arzu Seth. Arzu, um, where are you right now? What can you tell our viewers about how exactly is the situation of the Yamuna River like? Well, <clears throat> along with the air pollution, right now what we are witnessing that the water pollution is also increasing in the national capital. Uh, right now I'm in front of the, you know, uh, new parliament building and you could see, you know, the, uh, the air of the national capital is still engulfed with the smoke and you could clearly see the haziness in the weather. Uh, in fact, uh, the visuals that have came to a fore of the Yamuna River where you could see this white color, you know, foam uh, floating on the Yamuna River. The uh, toxic foam is due to the, you know, high phosphate content. In, in the river uh, Yamuna which can cause skin and respiratory problem. In fact, uh, while we went to the Yamuna river, we were close to the uh, Ghat. Uh, the people uh, the, that were, you know, residing near the Yamuna river, in fact, said that this water is very toxic and harmful, not only for the human, in fact, for the aquatic animals that are living in that particular water. Uh, the, the water get, you know, toxic not because of the only industrial waste, but also the waste material the sewage water that is coming to the Yamuna river and that the percentage of the sewage material is more than the industrial waste. So this needs to be, you know, given attention by the government that how to settle the sewage with um, waste material, the sewage water that is coming to the Yamuna river and every year we see uh, the same visuals that come like the white foam that is floating on the Yamuna river and in fact yesterday also the Chhat Puja went where when the you know we saw the devotees paying their you know paying their tribute, uh, pay, doing prayers at the Yamuna river uh, in, in that toxic Yamuna river and they were forced to do that because they pray, they worship that uh, Yamuna river and that's why they, they do the devotee, they do the prayer in that water only. So this is what the visuals which, which is coming is very disappointing to see the holy mm. river like this. Yes. Indeed, it is uh, very jarring to see these visuals uh, right here of a froth bubbling across the Yamuna river, uh, polluting the river and as, as my colleague Arzu had stated, it causes a lot of health hazards. Uh, it causes a skin irritation and allergies. If ingested, these chemicals may also cause gastrointestinal problems as well as diseases like typhoid and long-term exposure to heavy metals in industrial pollutants uh, can also cause neurological issues and hormonal imbalances. Meanwhile, joining us on the broadcast is Dr. Ishwar Gilada. He's a health expert. So, very good morning and thank you for joining us on News X. Uh, of course, uh, we are reeling under problems of air pollution in the national capital, but it seems that water is also going bad. Now, there is, of course, political mudslinging that is taking place, but that is, that is one side of the issue. Uh, the crux or the core issue is the health of the people of who are living in as well as around the national capital because um, Yamuna River uh, serves not just Delhi. Um, so what, what do you think are, no, uh, apart from gastrointestinal problems and skin irritations and allergies, what else uh, can this toxic water lead to and uh, what can be done in order to counter its adverse effects? 
you very much for having me on the show. Uh, it has become an annual ritual for many years. Uh, first comes the issue of uh, uh, stubborn burning uh, and air pollution. Then comes Chhat Puja and uh, that, that time we focus on this kind of pollutants in Yamuna River. Now what happens when there are pollutants, there are pollutants like phosphates, ammonia, there are toxic gases in that, there are surfactants. So I think all of them uh, cause problem. And it is not only a problem to human being, it is also to animal. And if the animals are drinking the same water and we are getting the same milk from there. So I don't know what is safe in this country. Means air is uh, polluted, water is polluted, what milk we get or food we get, that is polluted. So it's, it's an unsafe uh, issue. And uh, by this way, is not only um, mor mor morbidity, also mortality increases. One of my friends said that by being born in India, and we being born in Canada or America, the life gap is 10 years. We live 81 years, average you live 71 years. Now that 71 to 81 gap is not uh, on a bridge. We, we have come from 35 years of age, average age when we got independence. Now we got 71, double. But that 10 years gap is not bridge because of all these problems. So uh, air pollution, water pollution, uh, ecological imbalance, and a lot of diseases coming in back and forth. Some diseases are unpreventable, but this is preventable. So I don't know who should be held responsible, who should build the cat, but the issue has to be solved. And it is going to cause problem of skin, which is basically irritation as well as allergies. It will cause the problem of if somebody ingests that water, lot of infections will be there, lot of toxicities will be there. That toxicity can be in almost all the parts of the body whether it's a kidney or brain or heart or lungs or a gastrointestinal system. And the moment you see such kind of dirty things in the water, it also will have a lot of infections, which will be like typhoid, cholera, malaria. They will breed a lot of mosquitoes. So I think everything will be a problem. I, I think we should plug these kind of issues well in advance. And I feel pity for those women which are uh, standing in that foam and taking a, a holy dip in that, uh, what is holy in that? It's all dirty. I, I don't know how to teach all these women. For more such videos, subscribe to the NewsX YouTube channel, hit the bell icon.